Hello friends, today we would be doing the identification of nitrite anion. Preliminary test, inspection of the solid salt. All the qualitative analysis for anions begin by inspecting the solid salt. Here you can see the salt appears colorless, otherwise white, crystalline in nature. In front, the salt is crystalline, hence we roll out carbonates. Before the other test, let's create the aqueous solution. Step 1. Take some solid salt in a test tube. Now we add distilled water to dissolve the salt. Here we have the aqueous solution ready. The preliminary test is the dilute sulfuric acid test where we take some solid salt in a test tube and we add dilute sulfuric acid. Here I have kept a test tube in an iron stand. Step 1 is to add the solid salt into the test tube. Here I have added the solid salt. Step 2 is to add the dilute sulfuric acid into the test tube. You can note that as soon as I add the sulfuric acid, there is brisk effervescence with formation of brown colored gas. In France, nitrides react with sulfuric acid to form reddish brown fumes of nitrogen dioxide. Moving on to confirmatory test, the starch iodide test. Here, I have taken 1 ml of the solution in a test tube and adding starch iodide solution. After adding the starch iodide solution, I will be adding an acid. Starch iodide solution means potassium iodide solution with starch mixed in it. So step 1 is to add the starch iodide solution into the aqueous solution of the salt. And next step is to add the dilute acid. Here I am using dilute acetic acid. You can see that as soon as I add the acid, there is development of a dark black to blue coloration. In France, the iodide is getting oxidized to elemental iodine which reacts with starch to give the blue colored complex. Moving on to the last confirmatory test is the diphenylamine test. Here, 1 ml of the aqueous solution of the salt is taken and we add diphenylamine. Diphenylamine reagent means diphenylamine dissolved in concentrated sulfuric acid. Here I am adding the diphenylamine. You can see that immediately there is formation of a deep blue color and also oxidation of the nitrite with release of nitrogen dioxide gas. That is because of the sulfuric acid and the blue coloration is due to diphenylamine. In France, the deep blue color was due to the complex formed by the oxidation of diphenylamine by the nitrites. Precautions. Handle sulfuric acid and diphenylamine carefully. Thank you my friends for watching the video. Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button so that you will get updated information about my new videos.